Hello, and welcome to the Daily Decrypt, episode 18. I am your good and faithful host, Amanda. Today, Bitcoin is $301. Litecoin is $3.09. Ethereum is $0.83. And Peercoin is $0.37. Today's episode is brought to you by Free Talk Live. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing. In cryptocurrency news. Those seeking to be paid to be nodes for the Dash network might have found their jobs just become a little easier. MasternodeCloud.com is now offering Masternode hosting services for $4 a month. Masternodes in Dash function similarly to nodes within Bitcoin, but with one major difference. They're paid half the block reward, same as the miners. In more cryptocurrency news, the incentives continue this time with BitShares. As you may remember, we mentioned that BitShares launched their 2.0 platform recently. A part of this upgrade was the BitShares new referral program. To earn money by referring others to BitShares, one needs to join the lifetime membership program of BitShares, which costs about $100. The lifetime member can then begin receiving fees for each person he refers, as well as receive 80% cash back for all future transaction fees that he would pay to the BitShares network. BitShares user Fav has this promotional blog post out, in which he offers 20% off anyone who registers their lifetime membership with him. In more cryptocurrency news, there exists a social sharing site for crypto users of sorts. It's called Crypto Compare, and it features live streaming prices, charts and analysis, as well as community written comparisons of mining equipment, exchanges, mining contracts and wallets. Crypto Compare even offers Bitcoin and Ethereum knowledge quizzes, where you can earn a beginning, intermediate or hardcore badge based on your crypto knowledge. To the curious viewer, I'll tell you that I got an 87% on my Bitcoin Intermediate badge, but I won't tell you my hardcore score because I don't think you'd respect me in the morning. In more crypto news, a new YouTube channel called Crypto Graffiti has just released their first video in which a man is dressed as a bullfighting matador. He approaches the bull statue in Wall Street, where people have come to pay homage to the mecca of this symbol of crony capitalism. He makes a few tweaks to the statue's appearance, and then hands out paper QR codes containing free Bitcoin to onlookers and passersby. In gaming news, Betcoin poker player MSOS has decided to stream himself playing Betcoin's half a million poker tournament this Sunday. MSOS will stream using the service Twitch and has asked the Bitcoin community to assist him in the chat rooms there to answer questions that new users may have about gambling with Bitcoin. MSOS's poker site of choice, Bitcoin, has decided to join in on the fun and has given him merchandise to auction off during the stream, which they hope will be equal parts entertaining and educational. In opportunity news, and yes, I said opportunity news, there is another site that is similar to CryptoGrind, called XBT Freelancer. We've mentioned CryptoGrind as the Fiverr alternative, which actually pays freelancers in Bitcoin. XBT Freelancer does the same. In the rare collision of 3D printing and virtual reality news, 3dprinting.com reports that the company Purple Pill VR has open-sourced their design of a printable stereoscopic 360-degree camera system. As popular names like the Wall Street Journal, Facebook, and Google are working in the background on their own virtual reality offerings, 360-degree camera setups which can be assembled at home may indeed grow in popularity. In news for which there is no name, TechDirt has reported on the increasing popularity of genetically modified pets. These micro-pigs were originally designed to make researching human diseases easier, but it turns out that people find them so darn cute that the Chinese institute which created them will now sell them as pets also. These beagles are the first genetically modified dogs designed to have extra muscle tissue, 
And these hairless guinea pigs were actually first developed in the 70s, but are just now seeing a renaissance in their popularity as pets. And if you live in San Francisco or Los Angeles, you may have seen a billboard like this recently. The company Genesis Mining has sponsored the billboards in what they're calling a Bitcoin awareness campaign. And that has been your Daily Decrypt. Our sponsor, Free Talk Live, will be covering Keenvention's Bitcoin panel taking place this weekend in New Hampshire. The panel will feature guests like Gavin Andreessen, Derek J. Freeman, and Open Bazaar's Chris Pacia. Thanks in advance for the coverage, Free Talk Live. Peace. Peace.